Richard and the other slaves wake up the next day after the crash. They scream for help as Whitfield comes and stabs the slaves one by one, claiming that it would be only a matter of time before they tried to kill him. But right before he stabs Richard, we hear the Viking horn sound of Smokey as it comes and kills the captains upstairs, and then grabs Whitfield for a little game of human whack-a-mole, Whitfield being the hammer. Ouch. The monster then comes down and gets all up in Richard's grill, examining him, scanning him, and taking memories of his past, and then leaves. So the question here is, why does the man in black as Smokey choose to only scan Richard, whereas he kills the officers without scanning them? And we saw this with Kimi's crew and the pilot as well. I think Smokey is searching and searching for people who have had severe loss in their lives. Saeed, Claire, Ben, and Richard have all lost someone they dearly loved, and so the man in black can use them as pawns in his game to kill Jacob. He must know this in advance or be able to sense this somehow before scanning the people as scanning is just the process of intaking memories in order for manifestation to happen so that he can turn into people who can convince them to do his will like we saw with Alex and Yemi and now Isabella. I also don't think Smokey can kill any candidates by himself like I've mentioned before. All of his victims haven't been candidates except for Montand, who we didn't see him actually kill, just rip his arm off. This means that Richard could possibly be a candidate, and maybe the man in black knows that only a candidate can kill Jacob, which is why he doesn't kill Richard. Maybe Richard was the only one on the ship that Jacob truly cared about, and maybe the rules state that the man in black can't kill a principal character like that. A lot of time goes by as Richard tries to break free from his chains. Richard passes out, and after he wakes up, he sees a boar eating the flesh of his dead amigos. The boar rushes Richard, and he passes out again. An idea here is that the boar is actually the man in black, or at least sent by the man in black, and this is sort of similar to the boar. Remember back in, I think it was season one, with Sawyer charging his tent. The whole idea of the boar charging here, charging Richard, was that so he would lose his nail, the one he obtained, and the one that he was hoping to escape with. If Richard had been able to use the nail to escape, the man in black might have not been able to convince Richard to do whatever he asked of him in exchange for his freedom from dying on the ship. When Richard wakes up again, he sees Isabella. He can't believe it. She says they're both dead and that the island is hell. She says, I looked into the devil's eyes and all I saw was evil. This is an opposite parallel of what Locke said to Jack back in season one, that I've looked into the eye of the island and what I saw was beautiful. Richard says he saw the devil too thinking that the monster he saw earlier was the devil. She tries to free him, but the monster sound is heard, so he makes her leave. And right when she goes upstairs, Richard can hear her scream as the monster leaves, leaving Richard traumatized. This version of Isabella is actually the man in black, and I'll explain a little bit why. The version at the end that we see a little bit later isn't, however. And this means that he can appear as people who have died off the island as well as on the island, unlike what we previously thought that he could only appear as people who died on the island. And this version of Isabella is the man in black though, and after watching the scene about five times, the dialogue is obviously from the man in black, and also the clothes she's wearing are exactly the same one she was wearing when she died. And this was Richard's last memory of her, the last clothes she was wearing. So when the man in black, as Smokey scanned Richard, this is what he appeared as. So the man in black saw that Richard lost someone very dear to him once he scanned him. He shows Richard an image of her and makes it look like she's been taken. He uses that longing for her return as motivation to try and kill Jacob. Richard wasn't killed simply because the man in black could use him. He tried the same thing with Echo. Echo rejected it and was killed. A bit later, the man in black visits Richard, claiming he's a friend and that they are indeed in hell. Now this isn't the first mention of the island being hell. It actually goes way back to season two when it was first mentioned. Back in the hatch in season two, the hieroglyphs that appear when the button's pushed every 108 minutes translates to Underworld. Then in season three, Anthony Cooper tells Sawyer that the island's hell when he appears on the island. Pierre Chang also warns everyone in season five that drilling into the pocket of energy would open up the gates of hell. Also, if you watch my smoke monster video, I show that another name for the smoke monster is actually Cerberus. It was confirmed by the producers and written all over the blast door map also with Cerberus vents being the holes that the monster comes out of. In Roman and Greek mythology, Cerberus was a three-headed watchdog that guarded the gates of hell. However, the island is not literally hell, and I'll explain why later. Also, during the scene with Richard and the Man in Black, lightning strikes four times before the Man in Black visits Richard. Four. He tells Richard that the devil has Isabella, and says that he will release Richard if he promises to do anything he's told. 
So Richard's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> the nemesis just happens to have the keys and unlocks Richard, saying, it's good to see you out of those chains. This is the exact same quote that the man in black as Locke tells Richard in 2007, and once he says this, Richard knows that Locke is now the Man in Black. The Man in Black carries Richard outside and tells him that the only way he can get Isabella back and escape hell is if he kills the devil. He informs Richard that the devil lives in the four-toed statue and gives him a dagger to kill him with, saying that he can't hesitate or let the devil speak because he's very persuasive. This is the exact same dagger that Dogen gives to Saeed to kill the Man in Black with, and he also says the exact same thing as Dogen stab him in the chest before he speaks. And we also don't see Jacob give the knife back to the man in black, so we have to assume that he keeps it and gives it to Dogen later. The dagger itself is actually a Pugio, or Pugio, I think that's how you pronounce it, which was a military knife used by Roman legionnaires. I also think this knife has a lot of importance to Jacob and the man in black. Jacob asks, who gave you that knife? And I think towards the end of the season, we'll see that they've had this knife for a long time. But how can I kill him if he's black smoke? Richard wonders. The man in black then confirms that he, in fact, is the black smoke. He says that Isabella wasn't running from him as Smokey, but actually from the devil. Hmm. He professes that the devil stole his body and his humanity, causing him to become the smoke monster. When Richard asks about him killing the officers, he sidetracks from the question and says that if he wants to see his wife again, he has to murder the devil, or as we'll see in just a bit, Jacob. So as we can see here, the man in black is trying to paint a very negative picture of Jacob into Richard's head, claiming that he took his wife, that he's evil, and that if he wants to leave hell and see Isabella again, he has to kill him. I think for hundreds or even thousands of years, the man in black has been trying to make it so that people, possibly Jacob's own candidates, have a strong desire to kill Jacob. And we saw this with Ben, and now with Richard. <laughs> 